Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a haul from Walmart. Let me show you what I got. In the meantime, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to see me in the next one. So we went ahead and I bought um, four things of tissue. Usually I buy the um, big boxes, but this turned out cheaper. This was in the clearance section for 75 cents each. So it came out to $3 for four of them versus the um, six something or more it would cost me for four of them in the um, regular section. And these are actually three ply versus the two or one ply thing that they had there. So these were a really good deal. Should have gotten more, but just didn't remember if I had any in my hallway closet. So I'm gonna check that. I don't think I did because I never replaced it once we ran out. I've been buying little ones, so this was a good deal. We bought this um, electronic toothbrush. It makes like a buzzing noise. Reason why, um, our dog is going to the groomer now and he's terrified of the clippers and the lady said to get him a like a noisy toothbrush, a battery operated toothbrush, just so that you can brush his hair on his head so he hears the noise and he's not afraid of it because he's afraid of the noise near his face. So we're gonna give this a try and hopefully next time he goes to the groomers, the face and head is easier for them. And then I went ahead and picked up a deodorant for my son. I, I don't know, maybe you know, but our kids, I love them, but how do they lose their deodorant? I can't find his deodorant anywhere. It's, I was like, oh, maybe you took it to school with you to put in your locker. Cause he said, oh, I need a deodorant for school. I'm like, you don't need deodorant for school if you put it on in the morning. And he started laughing. I'm like, well, where's your deodorant? I can't find it. I'm like, how do you lose your deodorant? But it's okay. Got him another one. Um, we got some bread back here, the regular Italian bread that my husband loves and some more white bread for breakfasts and stuff, miscellaneous sandwiches. Cheerios, my son really wanted Honey Nut Cheerios, so I bought him the big bag. This turned out to be cheaper, the bag, versus getting the big, big box from the aisle. This was like a, maybe a penny cheaper in overall ounces per ounce or something. I don't even know, but it was, you get more for the price that I paid. And then this, I was a little aggravated in getting because Walmart's so much cheaper, but they did not have the Walmart brand. So we ended up getting the fettuccine by them. Um, my husband likes that with Alfredo sauce and stuff. So we bought one package of them because I didn't have any, but now I'm gonna be on the lookout for this pasta on sale to add to our stock because that's a pasta I do not have in stock. Um, a thing of eggs, 18 count, because it's back to just the three of us, so we don't need to keep buying two, like I was doing for the longest, because we've had company. Got some more of these carrots, because we've used a lot of them in our um, stews that we've been doing, and our little guy, Bucky, loves these, so um, got some more of these for him and I to snack on. Bought another thing of the Parmesan shaved cheese, because we're going to have the Fettuccine, fettuccine Alfredo tonight, so we'll have that. I had some more plates. I didn't buy a big, big thing because we, you know, I've been using now the dishes. Now the company's gone. I wanted to replace what I used. So maybe the next two hauls I'll replace um, with new plates and bowls because I'm totally out. So I got small plates for like cake and desserts, bowls for like soups and cereals, and then the big plates for dinner. So on days that we don't want to cook or power goes out, I have a stock of them in, in, in um, stock, and when the holidays come, I'll have my beefed up stock of, you know, paper plates as well. So I went ahead and got that, <coughs> excuse me, got myself another um, vanilla cream, I creamer, this, I, I'm not out of it yet, but I like to have this in hand um, because I do drink coffee every day, so I bought an extra one of these just to have since we were there so I can refill my bar, my um, breakfast, not breakfast bar, my coffee bar as needed. I have a smaller container I bought, so I'll put this in there and use that as needed. I got some more milk for my son because he's been really loving his cookies lately and snacks, we got that. He wanted to have fruit salad, so I went ahead and bought him some grapes. I only bought a little bit of them because we've noticed if they last more than a couple of days, they start to get really weird the fruit lately so I only bought half of the bag um, and then we can always get it next week the other half um, so we did that he likes the red seedless he also likes the green seedless so either one but these look the best got the honey crisp apples can you believe these were like almost nine dollars 
I know apple season is upon us, so maybe the prices will go down, but holy crap, I could not believe when that rung up in the register, almost $9 for this bag. Don't get me wrong, well worth it because they're my favorite apples, but whew, that's a lot of that's a lot of money for apples. Let's see how many, I don't like to count food, but two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten apples. So I guess it's not that bad for two pounds of apples. I mean, it's still bad, but honey crisps are expensive anyway, but that's just crazy. Um, then we got a whole chicken here, um, rotisserie. We didn't feel like um, making one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take this, use the chicken for, um, today's meal and tomorrow's meal. We're gonna do maybe the chicken with the fettuccine Alfredo and then the additional chicken for tacos tomorrow. And then I'll use the bones to make some broth. So we'll we'll get a lot out of this one. Um, that's what I like to do. Now that my sister told me the proper way to do a chicken stock from scratch using even the rotisserie bones. So definitely take advantage of it, ladies and gentlemen. I got almost, I think four thirty-two ounces of broth out of that so well worth the price i bought 10 pounds of potatoes because we went through what we had i tell you my son loves potatoes so this is like crazy this thing costs almost nine dollars i just i mean 10 pounds nine dollars i remember the days you can walk in get 99 cents for a five pound bag to a dollar 99 to 2.99 now we're up to eight dollars this is just crazy but i understand the sit the what's going on so they say shortages on potatoes so I will take it as long as I can like I told my son I said you may not get potatoes very often because there's a shortage but when we can we will get them so my son loves this so I picked another 10 pounds up got my cilantro and red pepper and green pepper and you if you've been following me enough know what this means that's right we're gonna make sofrito so if you haven't already watched that video I'll link it below, but you can also visit it on my YouTube page. Um, this is something I use cilantro, pepper, two, a red and green pepper, and I use um, a whole, pretty much a whole head of garlic, and then some olive oil. You can put salt in it if you want, I don't, and I put pepper in mine, and that is it. You just blend it in the blender, it comes out to like this puree paste, like liquidy, you know, goodness, I swear it's delicious. And I add that to my rice and beans. I put it on pork, I add it to steaks, I add it to stews. It is such a great flavor boost to any dish you make. I tell you, you will not regret it. And if you love pork, I have to be in the mood for pork. We like it around the holidays. We do like a picnic pork, um, pork shoulder um, around the holidays. You take that and you put this in that pork with then more garlic cloves on it and you roast that in the oven, oh my God, I tell you what, it is the best pork you will ever have. This is an amazing flavor palette. You gotta try it. I got some more bananas. Yes, I know they're green, but um, I like ours to ripen as time goes because my son doesn't always eat them right away. So this is a good option for us as they ripen, he eats them. So we got four, well actually five of them. We saw on the news, we're just watching, my husband got on his um, feed, uh, these instant bowl for Fruit Loops. It's just add cold water, stir to create real milk. So basically they have powdered milk in here. If that's what I'm, I haven't really read through it. So we're gonna try it um, since I got 50 cents back on them on Ibotta. Yes, they're a little pricey. I probably may not use them because I'm sorry, $1.98 for this is way too expensive. I could just buy this in powdered milk and just make my own. But I'm gonna give it a try to see if we like it. Um, I got the two flavors my son likes, so that, and we both like, my husband and I as well, but um, to see if we like them, because these are good to have in the house for, you know, that road trip you're taking, or God forbid the power goes out, you always have water, because I keep at least a 24 to 48 pack of water in the house at all times because we've had the situation where our, our water was down or the electric was down or you know and you needed to drink more water and our machine doesn't work because it's you know our ice and water machine doesn't work because it's electrical so it just makes sense to have water in the house at all times so we're going to try this to see if we like it i got the fruit loops and the apple jacks they had raisin brand one i believe they had frosted flakes 
I had one other one. I can't remember which one it was. But definitely worth trying. I will let you know in the comments how we like this. Um, so if you're interested in getting it. Um, we also bought some Milano cookies, my son's favorite. Then my husband wanted this for our grill, the cast iron baking pan. He cooks with his round pans on the grill and makes eggs and bacon. Sorry, that's the little dude in the background playing with his new bone we bought him today. So that's all the noise you're hearing in Ruckus. He's too cute, isn't he? He's getting so big and he's got his new little haircut. He no longer looks like a little scruffy little dude. But um, yeah, so back to the cast iron. We went ahead and got this. We were gonna get the flat one that you could flip over and have the, um, the uh, nice side that gives it the grilling marks, but we really didn't need that. I had talked him into this one kinda and he agreed. Cause like, look how deep that is. It's like a good um, deepness to it. So this is the measurements here. And what I love about it is that when you cook something, if there's a lot of oil like bacon or something that has a lot of fats or greases or sauces, it's not gonna spill over on that grate if you have to move it or anything. So this I found was a really good option to get. I love that it has the handles on each side. It's basically like a roasting pan, but short, shorter profile obviously, but for the cast iron, in cast iron, and I can put this on my propane grill. I can put this over my, um, Oh, what is that? A, a fire when you go camping, um, the fire pit. So this is kind of cool. So you can cook it really much anywhere and even in the house. So really very versatile and going to be used a lot. My husband really was excited to get this. So that's pretty much it for our haul today. We didn't really go too crazy because again, I keep telling you, we have a couple of things in stock. Um, in our freezer. I do need some meats. I may have to run out. I was not a fan of the meats at Walmart this week. It's just, I don't know, the pricing was a little high, which we all know is the case everywhere. But I just think that BJ's or or, or um, Costco's had better pricing for the meat for me. So I can probably get, you know, three packs of meat for the price of two. So I'm going to probably do that with BJ's. I'll, um, I'll, clip in the haul here or maybe make another short video when when I do do that but we'll get some meats from there but right now this is what we need um I will need to be doing a meat haul soon but like I said I wasn't going to get it at Walmart because the meats just were a little too pricey for me for the quality so if I can go to um like I said Costco's or BJ's that's where I'm going to go for my my other haul well thanks again for following and um being here on my channel and subscribing. I truly appreciate those who have subscribed and really would love those who haven't to do so. Um, I, I do this weekly. I'm gonna try to maybe incorporate more as I go along, but I definitely enjoy having you here. So please hit that like, subscribe and notification bell. See you in the next one. Have an amazing week.